Hello and welcome. Today, we are going to dive into a fundamental concept in mathematics and computer science, the number system. It might sound complex, but by the end of this, you'll have a clear understanding of what number systems are, why there are different types, and how they work. Let's begin with the big question. What exactly is a number system? As our guide shows, a number system can be considered as a mathematical notation for representing numbers. Think of it like a language. In English, we use letters to form words. In a number system, we use a specific set of digits or symbols to represent numerical values. The most important concept in any number system is its base or radix. These two words mean the exact same thing. The base or radix of a number system is simply the total count of unique digits or symbols used in that system. This idea of the base is the key to understanding everything that follows. Now, let's look at the major categories. Number systems are broadly divided into two main types, positional number systems and non-positional number systems. Let's talk about positional number systems first. These are also known as weighted number systems. The name gives us a big clue. In a positional system, the value of a digit depends not only on the digit itself but also on its position within the number. There is a weight associated with each position. The number system we use every day, the decimal system, is a perfect example of a positional system. For instance, in the number 352, the digit 2 just means 2. The digit 5 doesn't just mean 5, because of its position, it means 50. And the digit 3, being in the hundreds place, actually represents 300. Each position, the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, has a different weight and that weight determines the digit's true value. The most common positional systems, which we will explore in detail, are binary, octal, decimal, and hexadecimal. On the other side, we have non-positional number systems, also known as unweighted number systems. In these systems, the value of a digit or symbol is independent of its position. The symbol has a fixed value no matter where it appears in the number. A classic example is the Roman numeral system. The symbol V always represents the value 5. The symbol X always represents 10. While their arrangement can mean addition or subtraction, the core value of the symbol itself doesn't change based on its column. Other examples include gray code and XS3 code, which are used in more specific digital electronics applications. For the rest of our discussion, we will focus on the four most important positional number systems. Let's start with the foundation of all modern computing the binary number system. The notation for a binary number is a number inside parentheses with a small subscript 2 at the end. This little 2 tells you that you are looking at a base 2 number. As the name binary suggests, by meaning 2 the base or radix of this system is 2. This means the binary system uses only two unique digits or symbols. Those symbols are 0 and 1. That's it. Every number in the binary system is represented using only zeros and ones. Why is this system so important? Because computers think in terms of on and off, or true and false. A one can represent an on state, and a zero can represent an off state. This simple, two-digit system is the language of computers. Let's look at the example given, the number 10100011, in base 2. In any binary number, we have two important positions. The leftmost digit is called the MSB, which stands for most significant bit. It holds the greatest weight or value. The rightmost digit is called the LSB, which stands for least significant bit, and it holds the smallest weight. Next up, we have the octal number system. The notation for an octal number is a number in parentheses followed by a small subscript 8. This tells us we are working in base 8. The word octal comes from the root octo, meaning 8. So, the base or radix of the octal system is 8. This means it uses 8 unique symbols to represent all its numbers. These symbols are the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Notice that the digits 8 and 9 do not exist in the octal system. The example shown is the number 672 in base 8. Each of these digits is a valid octal digit because they are all less than 8. Now, let's move to the system we are all most familiar with, the decimal number system. 
The notation for a decimal number is a number in parentheses with a small subscript 10. This indicates it's a base 10 number. Often, because it's the default system we use, the subscript is left off. The word decimal comes from deci, meaning 10. So, the base or radix of the decimal system is 10. This means it uses 10 unique digits. These are the digits we learned as children, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. With these 10 digits, we can represent any number imaginable. The example provided is 2598 in base 10. All the digits 2, 5, 9, and 8 are part of our standard set of 10 digits. Finally, let's explore a system that is incredibly important in computer programming and memory addressing, the hexadecimal number system. The notation for a hexadecimal number is a number in parentheses followed by a small subscript 16. This tells us we are in base 16. The name hexadecimal is a combination of hexa, meaning 6, and decimal, meaning 10. 6 plus 10 equals 16. So, the base or radix of this system is 16. This means the hexadecimal system needs 16 unique symbols. Now, we have a small problem. We only have 10 numerical digits, 0 through 9. How do we get 16 symbols? We borrow from the alphabet. The basic digits or symbols in the hexadecimal system are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then we use the letters A, B, C, D, E, and F. Here's what those letters represent. The letter A stands for the value 10. The letter B stands for the value 11. The letter C stands for the value 12. The letter D stands for the value 13. The letter E stands for the value 14. And the letter F stands for the value 15. So, the 16 symbols are 0 through 9, followed by A through F. Let's look at the example, the number 5C76 in base 16. Here, the 5, 7, and 6 are familiar digits. The C is one of the special hexadecimal symbols, and it represents the decimal value of 12. Hexadecimal is widely used because it's a very compact way to represent long binary numbers, making it easier for programmers to read and write computer code. So, to recap, a number system is a way of writing numbers using a set of symbols. The base tells us how many symbols are in that set. Positional systems, like the ones we focused on, give digits different values based on their position. Binary, or base 2, uses just 0 and 1, and is the language of computers. Octal, or base 8, uses digits 0 through 7. Decimal, or base 10, is our everyday system, using digits 0 through 9. And hexadecimal, or base 16, uses digits 0 through 9 and the letters A through F. Understanding these systems is the first step to understanding how computers handle data and perform calculations. Thank you for watching.